So we are heading out for the third time to a house with apparently a large brown snake. Um, I was there earlier this week and by the time I got there we just couldn't find the snake at all. Uh, the snake's apparently in the, drive in the driveway busy eating a big rat. So we're going to shoot over there. Hopefully we get there in time and then we can see what the snake is. From the description it's either going to be a cape cobra or a boomslung. I still am not quite convinced on what. Um, both the species uh, occur in the area so we're just going to have to head on over there quickly and see what species it is if we can get through this traffic which is always a problem. So we're just arriving at the house. It should be here on the right. I don't see my guy. Oh here he is. And let's see what the snake is today. Hey, Maxon, can you see it today? Yeah. Let's see, where is it? Okay. Okay, where where is the snake though? Yeah, but there's no snake. This is old. This is a very old squirrel. A few moments later. And here we go. We have a beautiful boom song. The gardener told me it was eating a dead squirrel, but there's a roadkill squirrel that's probably about three weeks old. So it's definitely not that. But we are going to go back to my car and we've got the tube which we're going to safely put it in. Um, yeah, have a look here. There's the squirrel that they said it was eating. But that squirrel is very, very old. So it definitely wasn't that. But yeah, here we go. Nice, presumably male wormslung. They aren't always sexy, sexually dimorphic. But here we go, that beautiful wormslung. I'm gonna get my tube and I'm gonna put this guy in. <laughs> wow! Traffic light every. What a nightmare. But yeah, they're generally quite relaxed, like you should go in the tube quite easily. They see as a like as a dark hole, dark opening. Wow. Easy. It's easy when you know how, I should say. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.